I'm here with Jamie Richardson. Jamie is coming off of a decision win over Matthew Bonner at Cage Warriors 113. He's kind enough to join us right now. Um, he said, unfortunately, training is non-existent because of the coronavirus. So, uh, Jamie, thank you for joining me, man. How you doing? I'm feeling good. Really man, good. Man, so congratulations on the win, first of all, brother. How did that feel to go in there and get a win? Uh, it felt good, but I wanted to finish. Um, yeah. I felt like I could have finished him. But I, I don't know if many people know this, I had a bad rib like two weeks before the fight. So I couldn't train. I couldn't do anything for two weeks. All I was doing was was jogging and sitting in a sauna. <laughs> so, Thanks. So, yeah. What happened to the rib? Um, so I do my intercostal muscle or something like that mm-hmm. in between my ribs. Um, I don't really know a technical term, but we'll know if it bloody hurt. That's about it. Um yeah, and I, I couldn't really punch or I couldn't do any wrestling whatsoever. Couldn't punch. That was a that was the first time. That fight was the first time I punched anything since. Oh god. Since I did it, so yeah, I was, I was lucky to get through it. <laughs> did you uh did you feel any pain during the fight, or was it all adrenaline for you? Um, adrenaline took away most of it, but when he got me down, like got me in the body locks and put pressure on it, that that hurt. I felt that. Ooh, I bet. Matt's a tough opponent, man. I've talked to him before, yeah. um, ahead of his one last, uh, one of his last wins, and he's a great win for you. I'm, I'm happy you got the win there. Um, so you're on a three fight win streak now, man. What do you feel's next yeah. for you? Um, I just want to take this. I want to take the middleweight division next. That's my goal at the moment. Is to um, you know, maybe get, maybe get a former champ win under underneath me. Maybe, mm-hmm. uh, maybe, maybe fight. Um, web, see what happens. That'd be a good win for me as well. That'd put me up like there. Like that. So, into, you know, go for that title really. I like that. Web's a good fight. That's a fun one for y'all. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you 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 mentioned that you wanted the uh the de- you wanted the not the decision. Jeez, you wanted the finish. Uh, two of your last three fights were by uh decision. Both were Phil Web. Um, elbows in the first one and punches in the first. Is that something you you, you kind of pride yourself on? Because you got plenty of finishes on your record. Um, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, that's that's the first win that I've had that is, has been a decision. So, but I, yeah, I, I was definitely happy with it. Um, you know, Bon is a is a is a um, what's the word? Oh, I can't figure out a word. Don't know why. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good win, Bonner was, but yeah. Yeah, I really like to finish. I like to finish fights to really, you know, solid that that victory in. Do you feel Do you feel like you gained anything from actually going the distance in a fight? Because a lot of fighters would would knock out power. They'll they'll get through all their fights and and not go the distance, and then they'll get into a big fight and uh, the distance will wear on them. Do you feel like you've gotten an advantage with that? Uh. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you mean. Uh, especially if, if you ever go into them championship rounds as well, if you ever get to that stage. Um, yeah, it was good. Um, get some good rounds un- underneath me. But, um, I feel like I, I can go the three, three minute rounds, uh, three fives anyway. Um, especially at middleweight, because I haven't got a, a massive weight cut that I've been doing. So um, I feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. So this fight card that you were on, it was monster. First of all, there was no MMA on. All weekend, uh, there was nobody, nothing. Um, you also had Barstos Fabinski and Darren Stewart, which was an actual UFC fight. Uh, Mason Jones yeah. and McLaughlin fought. Uh, Patty fought on there. Uh, it was a giant card, man. Um, how do you feel with uh, with the experience there and having people have your eyes on you? How do you feel? Um, wh- how did that make you feel? I should say. Um, yeah, I knew, I knew I knew a lot of people was going to be watching that card. Um, I think that's that's probably why I was a bit disappointed. I didn't get the finish when I, I knew I could have. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was happy to be a part of that card. Actually, happy to be a part of that um, that show, especially it being the only one being run. And um, Cage Rose did a real good job of um, keeping it everyone separate, testing, and they they really really pulled out the works for it. So that was wicked. That was wicked. Yeah. I was fighting in an empty stadium. Um, the walkout was different. <laughs> um, 
but in the actual fight, it didn't. I think it actually helped me because I could I could just hear my corner clear as day. Like they, they just had to speak; they weren't even shouting. I could just hear them, so it was brilliant. <laughs> Uh, yep. preferred, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we talked about what's next, man. Um, what, what's your career goals? Obviously, you you, you want to get to the UFC, am I correct? Yeah, that's how everyone wants to get to the UFC, and that's the, that's the main that's the main goal, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, Cage Warriors is so good about getting their fighters. They've had like ninety six of them go to the UFC. Some yeah. of the biggest stars have come out of Cage Warriors. McGregor, obviously, you've had Michael Bisping. Um, and some of the best prospects, too. So I think you're in a good spot, man. I really do. Yeah, it's a great platform. Um, I'm lucky to be a part of them, to be honest. Man, yeah. last question. Last question. Uh, Habib and Tony are fighting, supposedly. Uh, we don't know We don't know when if that's going to happen or what this corona. Actually, let me ask you another question, man. How did coronavirus affect your camp? Um, it didn't. No? No, it didn't affect my camp whatsoever. Um, everything was uh, still open and running during that time. Yeah. So it was literally only straight after that um, event they started shutting the gyms and, the, and everything like that. So we was real lucky just to creep it in there before before it, it went into lockdown. That's fortunate. That's very yeah. fortunate. So back to what I was saying earlier, I'm sorry, it just popped in my head. Um, mm-hmm. Habib and Tony are fighting. It's the most anticipated fight for a long time. Um, who wins that fight and how does it go down? <laughs> I'm guessing this is everyone's reaction. Yes, uh, every single person. Yeah. Um, I'm going Khabib by decision. Okay. I'm not. I'm thinking he ain't going to get a finish because Tony is so durable, isn't he? He's crazy. So, but I'm going. I'm sticking with Khabib on this, and um, yeah, decision. I'm- Khabib. I'm with you. I think I think Khabib, honestly, I'll say this. Like I like Tony. He's a great fighter, but I don't think he has anything for Tony. I don't think he's the t- I mean for Khabib. I don't think he's the type of fighter that'll that's gonna dethrone Habib. I think I think the type of fighter that's gonna beat Habib is gonna be like a Justin Gaethje, somebody who marches forward and doesn't give him any breathing room. That's me, but who knows? We'll see. We got a couple weeks to yeah. find out, man. Uh Jamie, where can everybody find you on social media, man? Uh, my Instagram's Jamie Richardson. The I in the Richardson is a one, and yeah, that's it. We're pretty much the same all around. Instagram's the same, uh, Twitter's the same. Awesome, yeah. awesome, Jamie. Thank you very much, brother. I'm appreciate your time, and I'm looking forward to your next fight. Take it easy, dude. Thank you. Later. <laughs>